Hey everyone. You can find a lot of neat penny chemistry on YouTube, including hollowing out a penny, zinc plating a penny, zinc plating then converting it to brass, reacting it with nitric acid, and so on and so forth. However, what I did not find is a video on removing the copper layer, leaving the zinc layer untouched. So in the name of completeness, I present to you a video on how to remove the copper layer of a penny. First, a word of warning. This reaction gives off toxic fumes. Do this only outside or in a fume hood. Getting any of this in your eyes will blind you. Getting it on your hands will burn you. Drinking it will kill you. Wear proper safety equipment and limit your exposure. To begin, you'll need some calcium hydroxide. You're also going to need some sulfur. This is lab grade. However, the stuff you get at a fertilizer store should be fine. A beaker to run your reaction in. Some water. A glass stir rod. A spatula. And some tweezers. And of course, you're going to need some pennies. They'll need to be pennies made after 1982. Okay, to start, let's go ahead and open up our calcium hydroxide. And add to the beaker about half a gram to a gram. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, next we're going to add the sulfur. You'll need at least two grams. But once again, you don't have to be absolutely perfect. All right, so now we want to add some water. and start mixing it up. You'll notice that all the sulfur floats to the top. So we need to take care of that. So we're going to use some dishwashing soap to take care of it. Just add about a drop or two. This will act as a wetting agent and also breaks the surface tension of water, allowing the sulfur to make a homogeneous mix. Okay, there we go. It's kind of a soapy mess, but trust me, it works. Now place your beaker on a hot plate, turn to high heat, and bring the solution to a boil. We'll fast forward through that part. Once you've got a boil, you can grab a penny and place it in the solution. Now you'll need to leave it there for a good 30 minutes which will give us time to ask the question what is going on here? Well the trick to this is to have a substance that reacts with copper but not with zinc. Let's see what will happen if we place a penny in this solution for a few seconds. Alright, so you can see there that it comes out tarnished. Let's repeat this experiment, but this time we're going to use a penny that I ground down to expose the zinc. So we'll place it in the solution, same as before. Alright, this time you can see that the copper is still tarnished, however the zinc is as shiny as new. This tells us that this solution is oxidizing the copper, but not the zinc. I pulled this reaction together from several different sparse sources. None gave any info about how this works other than it does. This type of chemistry is not my expertise, so if you'd like to take a shot at it, 
Please post what you think is happening in the comment section. As many chemists as there are on YouTube, I'm sure we can figure it out pretty quickly. So we pulled our solution off and let it come to room temperature. And now it's time to uh, pull our pennies out. So I used tweezers to do this. And you can see that it's very oxidized on both sides, very tarnished. In fact, you can't really even make out that it's a penny. Grab the other one. <clears throat> Same thing. The white that you see is probably calcium hydroxide. That didn't dissolve. However, it may be something else. So I'm going to grab a paper towel and try to clean some of it off. Now, using a paper towel to get this off really was ineffective, so we're going to use some ceramic cooktop cleaner, which makes it happen a whole lot faster. You only need about that much, and I just used my fingers to do it. It's messy, but it gets it done. So we'll skip forward, and here at the end, it really didn't take that long. And now you've got the front side all cleaned up. So, to do the back side, this just gives you an idea of just how fast it actually happens. And there you go. So that's a zinc penny without any copper. Here's a close-up. If you want it really, really shiny, then a Dremel tool with a buffing wheel attached, or if you just happen to have a buffing wheel, will give you a penny that's a lot shinier like this one, a near mirror finish. And that is how you remove copper from a penny and basically make a zinc penny. So, thanks for watching.